So what will be my fantasy Premier League team going into the new season? Well, you'll find out in today's video. If you guys like what you see, please give the video a like. It does tremendously help the channel. Let's aim for 15 likes again. You guys have smashed my last video, by the way. So thank you, guys. Please subscribe if you're new. It does really help. Or if you haven't done, it really helps with the channel. Let's try and push to 700 subscribers as soon as we can. That really, really will be appreciated. And please share this channel and this video to as many people as you can. That is how we're going to grow. But without any further ado, let's show you the team that I'm going with for the Premier League Fantasy League. And I'll reveal to you all the codes and the details to compete in the Lexa Lexus Football League 2021-22. Okay, so as you can see, I have got a blank team right in front of me. I have got to fill this team in. We've got two goalkeepers. We have got five defenders, five midfielders, three forwards. So that is how we've got 15 players. Let's start with goalkeepers first. Lloris is there. Melia is there. Edison is there. I don't really want a too expensive goalkeeper, to be honest with you. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go by position. And I'm going to see all the goalkeepers available. And I'm going to just pick a couple which I think could be consistent clean sheet masters. So, Pope could be one. But Pope, you still don't know about his injury. Lloris, maybe. Defending-wise, I mean, Edison could get a couple. But I think a lot of it's down to his defence rather than the attack. And the thing about Manchester City, the fact that Pep keeps changing the squad. It's so unpredictable to get... And nailed on first team player to you, you know put in the squad. So that's the big risk of having a Manchester City player. Leno, I don't know. Schmeichel, maybe. I had Schmeichel last year, but I do want to try and be different this year. There's Pickford. Sanchez is a good shout, to be fair. De Gea, Darlow, Henderson. This is a difficult decision already that I'm trying to make with this. Well, Gaeta might be one, but I don't know about Patrick Vieira though. This is a really tough first decision for me. I don't know who I'm going to go with. I, for me, I'm going to go with Alisson as my number one, I think. I think he'll definitely get a couple of clean sheets. And I'm going to go for Sanchez as my backup goalkeeper, I think. I don't want to spend too much. I mean, I've already spent 10.5. Let's go with defenders now. So supposedly we've got five defenders we've got to pick. Right. Robertson should be a nailed on starter. Trent should be a starter. Cresswell's interesting to be this expensive. Diaz, um, hmm. Does Diaz tend to start all the time though? I mean, because Manchester City just changed their defence so much. Chilwell, I'd expect to see a lot of him in next season with Chelsea at least. Matt Target's interesting. Kufal's a good one maybe. I'm tempted to go with Kufal, you know. Mings is a good one as well. Dunk, very underrated. I'm glad he's been given a bit of recognition. I think I'm going to put in Trent because there is a possibility he could get a couple of goals. He's got a set piece in him, but also with his crosses as well, he can get a couple of assists. Now, four more defenders. Um, hmm. I'll go with Chilwell on the other side. Um, Maguire should be starting. Luke Shaw's not a bad one, actually. This is not easy. I'm going to put Luke Shaw in, I think. Right. Who now? Tarkovsky's not a bad one. Ben White. I mean, obviously, he's not at Brighton anymore. He's joined Arsenal very, very recently. I'm not even going to look at the opening games. Because for me with fantasy, one thing I always do, I change my score too much. I want to give stars to the players that I think will consistently have a 10 out of 10 performance. Or as close to a 10 out of 10 performance as they can. I want to put a Manchester City player in, but it's so difficult to um, predict who Pep is going to go with. So that's why I'm a bit hesitant at the moment. Zuma, I mean, for what I'm hearing with our transfer news, it looks like we may lose Zuma and bring Kunde in a minute. I think Kunde could actually be a good signing I could put in, actually. Cody for Wolves. That's not a bad shout. Me, uh, Lindelof. Definitely not Lindelof for me. I've already got 70 million left right I've got to be very careful here this is tough I I, I didn't think I was gonna hesitate this much Ah, uh, god I want to put a Manchester City player in but I just don't know if I can 
I'm going to put, actually, well, I'll regret that. I'll put John Stones in, I think. And then let's just go down the list a bit and see who we can find for a defender. Vicrilon's not a bad one. Matty Cash, I think, will be good. I think he does deserve some recognition. Rudiger, I think he'll definitely be involved for Chelsea more. And in fact, I'm actually going to put Rudiger in. Now, I think I am going to be, oh, God, look at that. 59 million left already. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 left. So we're just about in contention to be in the 100 million uh, bracket. But the strikers are notoriously more expensive. So what I'm going to do, actually, going to be a bit of a tactic. I'm going to deal with the forwards next. And then we're going to basically have what we have left for the midfield. That's my tactic of making my team. Kane. Um, hmm. It depends on Kane, because he could be in Man City or Spurs. He could move away. Undoubtedly, I know Kane deserves to be the most... I think, I think you've got to have Kane in at this point, really. You've got to have Kane in. God, but that's very expensive, though. Okay, who else? Watkins is not a bad one. Morpé, Cavani. That's, in fact, you know, I'm going to put Cavani in, actually. Cavani's a good one. Um, okay, so Jolinton, Martial, Abraham, Ayu, Vidra, Rodriguez, Benteke, Ricardson, Chris Woods, not bad, Watkins, so 38 million left, God, I think I'm going to have to go quite cheap here for um, an attacker here. Let's go for Ivan Tony. why not? Let's go for Ivan Tony there. So I'll put 32 million for the five midfielders here. So on average, I've got roughly six and a bit million. Okay, I mean, there's, there's going to probably be a quite a fair bit of change, but I think definitely creating your team, you know, your first team is always the most difficult thing to do. So that's why it's probably taken me this long. All right, Bruno Fernandes. I think we've got to include Fernandes. But look at that, 20 million left with just four. Right, got to be very careful here. Mane, Salah. You know, I can't resist. I've got to put De Bruyne in. Oh, God, but that's only £8 million left. Oh, no, I'm going to go over. Right, I've got to be very careful now. I'll put Greenish in. Now, it means I'm already out, so I'm already going to make some changes. Right, that defence is definitely way too expensive. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out, I think, Stones. So we've now got 5.5 spent. What other midfielders do we have that I want to put in? Barnes is not a bad one. Sigurdsson, well, he won't be there. Um, Armstrong, Gross, Rice, Pulisic, Pogba. We don't know about Pogba. Um, Hamas Rodriguez, Lingard, El Ghazi, Westwood, McNeil, Jorginho. Could get a couple of penalties, Jorginho. I'll put Jorginho in. Right, we've already gone over, so I've got to be a bit careful here. Should I take Rudiger out? I'll take Rudiger out. So, that means three, five million based on three players. That's really not ideal. I'm actually going to take Chiwell out as well, actually. I'm going to keep Alexander-Arnold and Shaw in, I think. So that means an average 4 million-ish for those four positions. I'm going really gung-ho this year, I, I, it's clear to see. Maybe one midfielder doesn't have to be too expensive. Neves could be one. In fact, I'll put Neves in. That's a good shell. Now, 5.5 .5, uh, for defenders. I'm just looking at what we've got available. Sinchenko, Fofana, Diop, Masuaku, Dummett, Ampadu, Clark, Doherty, Peters, Ritchie, Fernandez, Alonso, Kilman. We'll put Kilman in, he'll be featured a bit. One million, yeah. This is tough. This is really tough. You know, there's so many players you want to pick, but I'm already going this far over. It's those three players here Fernandez, um, or Fernandes, I must pronounce correctly, De Bruyne and Kane. Could I maybe not go six million for Allison? That would make things a lot better. Okay, let's just look at the defenders left and see if there's any that stick to mind. So short, Alexander Arnold. Um, I don't know. Defenders are tough to put in, to be honest with you. I want to see players that I think will start a lot, but all of these players, I'm not too sure. Grant Hanley might be one, but how many goals are Norwich going to concede? Probably a lot. Gway is a good one. I'm actually going to put Mark Gway in. So I'll put minus 3.5 over. Now, I want to definitely make sure we've got all the players filled in. Now let's put... I'm going to put E... Oh, I was going to put Ethan Pinnock in. But actually... In, you know what? I'm going to put Janssen in. Because he will start. 
Now, eight million over. So I've got to somehow get rid of eight million. So for midfield three, we've got Fernand, De Bruyne and Grealish. Jorginho would be good for pens. This is tough. I, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I think looking at this formation, I think I'm going to do a 3-4-3. Three, three. So short Arnold and maybe Gueye, maybe. Or Janssen, one of the two. And then maybe Fernand, De Bruyne, Grealish. And I'll add someone like Jorginho, I think. I think Jorginho has to stay in. I'm going to look for the cheapest midfielder as I can. So how far down? 4.5. Pesuma's only 4.5. Blimey, okay. Brown Hills up there. Douglas Louise. You know, I think I'll put Douglas Louise personally. But that means I'm still already 1 million short. And I'm still missing a position here. Maybe I'll take Tony out. I'll take Tony out. And that makes 5.5. Let's look for the cheapest striker position. 4.5. Um, let's look for Strike Perica. But now only 1 million. And if I get rid of Sanchez, that's only going to be 5.5. I think if I just take one more hard-hitting player out, I could do this. Does Grealish go? Does Grealish go? I think that's going to have to be it. I think Grealish is going to have to go. I will keep Jorginho's position there. So that will give us 9 million. And that already looks very, very good. Sanchez will stay. I'm going to put Schmeichel in, I think. I'm going to stick to traditions and put Schmeichel in. That means 4 million for the midfielder, and surely there's a midfielder worth 4 million. I think there is one. 4.5, are you serious? There's not a midfielder worth 4.5. Oh, come on. Right, now I'm 0 0.5 off. Oh, this is going to really annoy me now. Let's put in Allen, I think. So now we're 0 0.5 off. I'll tell you what I can do. I'll replace Janssen and instead I'll put Charlie Good in his place. Right, so I think that's my team. You know, as of now, I think I'm happy with this. Let's enter this squad. Team name, right. I am going to call it Lex Alexis FC. Favorite club, of course, it's going to be my team, Chelsea. I agree to the terms. Enter squad. Uh, I'm not happy with this. I definitely, I want to swap some players over. So automatically, when you enter your team, they kind of create the squad for you based on a starting 11. I'm going to put Fernandes as captain, actually. They've, they've got leads, and I think Man United could have a good game there. I'm going to make more transfers here. Okay. Killman, I'm not too satisfied with. Not even with Gwei either, to be honest with you. Let's get rid of Kilman and Gueye. So we've got 9 million spent. We've got to definitely, for me, got to improve the defence. This is literally how long it takes me sometimes to do this team. I, I, I want to make sure that it's right up there. Mings will almost certainly start. 5 million. I'll put Mings in. Mings will should be consistently good. Now, cheapest defender. If there's one for 4 million, there is one for 4 million. Let's go for... Mm-hmm, we can go for, I don't know if Winston Reed's going to start too much. Let's go for Kelly or Palace. Right, let's make those transfers confirm. Yeah, zero points, thank God. Right, so how does this team look like now? So, Anazano, the Mings, Short, Kelly, Schmeichel, Fernandes, uh, Alan, Jorginho. Honestly, close to what I wanted to do, apart from Kelly and maybe Alan. I'm still going to go back to transfers. I'm not going to stop recording this video until I'm happy with this. So let's get rid of Alan and let's get rid of Kelly. So that's 8.5 mil. I mean, Will Hughes might not be a bad shout. Will Hughes. I'm going to put Will Hughes in, you know. I actually think that might not be a bad shout. And then 3.5 left. Oh, I don't even know if there's a defender worth 3.5. Let's get rid of Good. 7.5. And let's just find some defenders within... This guy's to see who... Oh, I don't know who I'm going with. This is so difficult. Do I take out Shaw? But I really want Shaw in this squad. What about goalkeepers, actually? Is there a cheaper goalkeeper available? Goalkeeper. What's the cheapest goalkeeper you can get? Four. Oh. Yeah, well, I know I've got the maximum amount of goalkeepers. Let's take out Sanchez. Gun. 
Foster. <laughs> Why not? Let's put Ben Foster in. So that already is going to make things better. So now let's go back to defenders. Amati could start a bit. That's really going to be tough. This is really tough, this. I didn't think this was going to be um, as challenging, but let's put Amati in. Make the transfers. Now, how does this squad look? So, Schmeichel, Alexander Arnold, Mings, Shaw, Fernandes, De Bruyne, Hughes, Jorginho, Cavani, Kane. To be honest, I think that's going to be the best that I can get. If I could find a replacement for Marty for a player who I think will start more, then I think this would be close to a perfect team. What I'm going to do now, guys, is that I'm going to create the Lex Alexis Premier League League. So I've just renewed my league. Now, if I can, I want to see if I can quickly change the name. I mean, it's called it 2021, which I think is quite good. If I can find a way in my own time, I'll change the name to league. So maybe 21 slash 22. But these were the entries that were in my league last year. If you want to be invited to my league, then you use this code right here. Lowercase Z51K25 or the copy auto join link. I'll also put in the description down below. But that is if you want to join my league. And I think if I'm right in saying the winner last time was Brad Gallone. Great um, team name, by the way. But um, he won the league last time. So if you guys want to be included in my Lex Alexis League, as always, join by the code. Or you can join by the link, which I'll put in the description down below. But that wraps it up for the Lex Alexis Fantasy League Premier League 2021-22. What do you think of my team? Give it a rating out of 10. And let me know of what team you're going with in the comments down below. But now wrap it up for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give the video a like. It does tremendously help the channel. Please subscribe if you're new. If you haven't done, it does really help the channel. And please share this channel to as many people as you can. It really, really helps. But thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are legendary for starting this video. And as always, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care.